Good morning. Game break Charlie here. I brought y'all out to a, a little meadow here that I just got through burning. I'll show it to you. It's early March here, you can see the spring really haven't gotten going yet. There's a forgotten theory in cognitive science called the Santiago theory. Uh, it was invented in the 70s by these two Chileans and uh, one of them taught in Paris, and one of them stayed in Santiago, I think. This idea never really took hold, but I found it recently, and I think it explains a lot about the natural world. So I'll try to give you all parts of it as I go. One of the basic ideas is this thing called structural coupling. <laughs> Sounds kind of kinky, but <laughs> it's actually just a description of how living things sort of harmonize with their environments. I want to show you all this meadow as it regrows from this burn and try and explore the ways that the different species are going to interact with one another and interact with the the history of fire here. So this is what the Santiago theory would call ontogeny, which comes from the Greek onto, which is being, geni, which is basically the, the origins of. Um, so when you describe a, a style of life or a way of life, they use those two roots, being and origin, to describe the, the origin of that style of life, that way of being. And that always comes from a history. So we're gonna look at this meadow as the spring goes on and we're gonna talk a little bit about the history here and the styles of life that are emerging and continuing to evolve in this living system. This is one of my favorite places. This is the back hillside at our farm and in rural Mississippi. And it's a beautiful spot. I, I just came here with my grandfather uh, for the first time when I was probably three or four. And I've been coming here ever since. <laughs> 